Ice Age three co hosts. Three. Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Oh, boy. Tell you what, this series <laughs> needs to get extinct, man, because they ain't doing nothing with this shit anymore. Oh, uh, so this shit, it's already played out, huh? It's getting old. I didn't even see part two, but what I saw here today, man, mm-hmm. look, check it out. I don't man. know anyone who saw part two, to be honest. I know, I know two. Oh, yeah? Uh, Leon and Carla. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Suckers! Nah, they... They like them cartoons. <laughs> them, them cartoon uh, funny pictures. Yeah. They, <laughs> no, I think I was uh, I was out of town when it happened, oh, uh, so okay. I say. So, mm-hmm. uh See, man, I, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, you get all these great artists together, mm-hmm. and, and they cr- they produce some incredible visuals. Yeah. And then you give them a story that ain't worth ain't worth a damn. Yeah. And that's then, uh, That's been the latest trend in Hollywood lately. Well, I, I, thought, I don't yeah, even know if you call it a trend. It's just usually that's what, that's what, that's that's what, that's what, you, that's what you get when yeah. you deal with Hollywood films sometimes. Yeah. Usually trends are fun. Ain't nothing fun about this. <laughs> I'm going off a little bit too harsh about this. Right, okay. But, it, it, it is a kids' film. Is it? Is it catered to the kiddies? If you mean it by kids, don't give a shit what they see. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it does cater to kids because it's going. Okay, here's here's the kind of movie mm. I think it is. This I, I can really sum it up. We're going to talk a little bit about it, but I can okay. sum it up. All right. Uh, this is one of those animated movies where the kids are going to like it, mm-hmm. and the adults are not going to like it as much. Maybe mom mm-hmm. will be sitting up there and she's like, "Oh, that little rat is cute," and, but your dad's going to be there looking at you like, "My son's gay." And my wife's retarded. And my wife's <laughs> retarded. <laughs> my wife, my wife invade his family. <laughs> I got to get out of here. My life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go and watch the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, this kind of film, man, it really is one of those movies where it's the third in a series of films. It's a trilogy now. Yeah. It's the Ice Age trilogy. <laughs> the, the further adventures of Scrat. Yeah. You know that? <laughs> That, that rat with that with those uh, saber teeth <laughs> is that what that, that is? That little crackhead rat. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is that the rat played by uh, John Leguizamo? Is that no? It? This rat. Oh, this is the rat that is always at the beginning of the trailer when oh. he's going after that acorn. Oh, it's that fuck. I always thought it was like a, a fucking squirrel still trying to get his nut. But uh, oh, get out of here! <laughs> so squirrel trying to get some crack is what it is. You look at that squirrel. That squirrel. That that squirrel is a combination mm. between a real squirrel and a crackhead. Uh-huh. You know, you see those eyes? With, yeah, with white lips and everything. Yeah, white yeah. lips. Hey, 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 oh, 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 my, 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 my acorn. I think I saw that 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 uh, that damn rat over on the east side trying to buy some rock. Yeah. <laughs> I'll suck your dick, please. <laughs> yeah, and he had a TV in his hand running with it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. That's, that's gonna be the next ice age, you know? Yeah. Dawn of the crackhead. You see that, that, yeah. that squirrel? Run across the screen, not with an acorn, but with TV in his hand. The TV. <laughs> At night, he's going to be watching fire. <laughs> <laughs> going to be, leave your car on, on, on bricks and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, and it, 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 that rat has been going after that acorn, man, for yeah. years. This squirrel ain't ate that nut yet. That acorn? <laughs> yeah. He's, I mean, that acorn is, uh-huh. he, you know he's having sex with an acorn. <laughs> he has to be. I'm surprised, like, life hasn't spawned from that goddamn acorn yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'd a... like to see that creature, yeah. It's going to uh, look like the tree from Poltergeist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that squirrel put his seed in that seed. <laughs> but but anyway, man, we have, uh, so we have Ice Age, uh, Ice Age 3 here. And now... I don't remember. I didn't see two, mm. and I don't remember that much about the first one. I do remember yeah. I liked it. I, liked I did. This. I did like the uh, first one too. I, I remember seeing that years ago. Yeah, it, and it was and it was okay. I mean, mm-hmm. the first one. Yeah, it wasn't great. It was okay. It, it, yes, that's right. Mm. I remember there being some clever sight gags in mm-hmm. there. Uh, this this was the first time you met these characters, mm-hmm. and they also uh, and and since you met them the first time, they went, this is their first adventure together. So you don't really right. know what to expect. All I remember is that they they found a human baby. Mm-hmm. And they had to find the owners of the human baby. Meanwhile, right. you get a mammoth voiced by Ray Romano. You get a saber-toothed tiger voiced by Dennis Leary. And you get a sloth voiced by John Leguizamo. Three different species of mm-hmm. animals who normally would probably be attacking each yeah. other or eating each other. Or something. Mm-hmm. They all have to work together. Yeah. And so it was they, the original uh, hangover, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. They're trying to remember where this baby come from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hangover is a ripoff of, the, of those uh, movies. Yeah. Of Ice Age. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were the first. Yes. <laughs> you wake up in a room with a bunch of animals and a baby. Yeah. What the fuck happened? Yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. And I know in part two, they, they, 
they did pick up another woolly mammoth, Queen Latifah. Don't make no jokes about that. Oh, I know you were. Damn it, Corey. I know. I know you were. <laughs> I was just about. She's, ah, no. she's an elephant in real life. Ah, that. But she's she's a hairy. No. Ah. <laughs> she, she puts the Latifah in. Ah. <laughs> Wait a minute. She puts the Latifah in what? <laughs> <laughs> that one I didn't get. I'd like to hear that one. <laughs> Too late, Corey. Sorry. Uh, and now, in this one, the story is mm-hmm. Sid finds uh, a bunch of eggs. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of and he's trying to find a purpose in life. He's kind of being pushed aside by Manny, who has gone on to uh, have sex with, uh, with Queen Latifah's character, the woolly mammoth and that. Gross. And, yeah. and, they're, and they're about to have a baby. Mm-hmm. So you can have the two characters of Sid and then you have Diego. Mm-hmm. Uh, Diego is getting older. He feels like he's losing his touch. He can't. He's getting laughed at by his mm-hmm. prey. Like he can't catch him. They're like, ah, motherfucker, you can't get me. <laughs> you suck. Yeah. <laughs> they dance around him. He's having a heart attack. Uh, and and Sid is feeling like I don't really have any purpose. You know, mm-hmm. everybody's like doing their own thing, and mm-hmm. he finds and Manny's kind of pushing me aside instead of his wife. And so mm-hmm. then he goes off and uh, finds these three eggs, mm-hmm. and you don't know what they are. Yeah. But he 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 decides to be their mother. Oh boy! So when he brings him back, uh, you know he's the dumb one. So right. Ma- Manny the woolly man is like, okay, what what the fuck are you doing now, man? <laughs> you know, okay, now, you know, I, I don't know what these are. Yeah. But knowing you, it's trouble. Yeah. What take, are you doing, knucklehead? Yeah. yeah take it back because <laughs> yeah. it cannot be good at all. <laughs> yeah. He takes it back, but before he can come back, uh, he falls asleep, wakes up. He's surrounded by three baby T Rexes, and they follow him back. <laughs> And the comedy ensues. I know they follow him back, and they are ready. They 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 eating uh, animal kids and uh, tearing up shit, and and uh, and that, that okay, that's kind of bad. Yeah. But then everybody knows that sooner mm-hmm. or later, mm-hmm. uh, Mama's gonna be there. Oh. And that's when and and hey, it's a big t that's big when, ass T Rex. Yeah. That's when the shit's gonna hit the fan. Right. So <clears throat> the T Rex, the Mama T Rex, does show up. Mm-hmm. Uh, not only takes her three kids back, but Sid gets up and says, "No, I'm the mother." And you have to go through me. So the T-Rex picks his ass up and takes him along, too. Now, from here, all the animals have to track Sid down to some subterranean prehistoric world where they are guided by a hyperactive weasel that is a combination between an outback Aussie and Captain Ahab. You know, the guy from uh, Moby Dick. Dude, you're awesome. You're like the brother I never had. Me, too. (laughs) (laughs) Can we keep him? Buck, what? The name's Buck, short for Buckminster. Long for... Ah. What are you doing here? Our friend was taken by a dinosaur. Well, he's dead. Welcome to my world. Now, uh, go home. Off you pop. Maybe the deranged hermit has a point. He, he's a, he, he's a, uh, an adventurer. He knows mm-hmm. the jungle really well. He can guide you to safety. It's like Indiana Jones he's or something? Like, uh, with a British accent and, uh, and, and more fur and oh, shorter okay. and a cartoon character. And not as old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had, had that weasel been in the original, Indi- I mean, the last Indiana Jones movie, yeah. that would have been more believable. <laughs> Instead of Harrison Ford running around. They yeah. should have had that character in there. <laughs> they should have had him walking out of a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I that I believe. A, a cartoon weasel walking out of a refrigerator is believable. Yes. Harrison Ford walking out of a refrigerator. Uh, no. No, 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 thank you. Shit, that's when you're going to cartoon land right there. It's also here that we realize that the movie is nothing more than the same old jokey dialogue that we can find in any kitty cartoon on television. And the thing that annoyed me the most is Sid, John Lequizamo's character. I mean, I liked him in the first one, but in this one, he is so stupid. That he's annoying. And not only that, but he's dangerous for everybody. I mean, if he had been taken away, everybody would have been like, no, 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 no. Let, let, let him go. Yeah. Let him, let, 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 he, we, don't need, we don't need him no that's, more. That's a good thing, dummy. You, Did you notice how, how peaceful it was this morning? All yeah. right. <laughs> Shit, by the time we get there, he's going to be chewed, chopped, and screwed. Let that, his ass stay. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's going to be a, he's gonna be in a turd by yeah. the time we get there. Let, let him go. <laughs> we don't need to find him. There are some things in this movie that I did like. Uh, the character of Buck, that's the weasel character I was just talking about. Uh, Simon Pegg does his voice, and Simon Pegg sounds like he's having a really good time with them, which makes it fun for the audience, although I think that character is overacted and a little overanimated. And while the 3D isn't anything incredible in this movie, there are a couple of clever action sequences to speed things along. Any of those look cool? Yeah, yeah, no, I thought so. There's one scene in particular that felt pretty inspired where you have the characters riding atop these pterodactyls, 
and they're mimicking a jet fight as they weave in and out of these cave formations and that was kind of fun. Now if only the movie could have developed their characters as much as that action sequence in the rest of the animation then we would have had a better film. But what passes as character development in this movie is pretty lame. So what if uh, Manny's having a baby? Big deal. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's that's not really character development. You're just waiting to see a little stuffed toy that they can probably sell right. uh, merchandise and make money off of right. stuffed toys with. Uh, you you uh you have Diego who's getting old, but after is he, that is that even a a point in the movie as far as any they, kind there's of no resolve resolve that okay. they, uh they just have they have two scenes where he's getting a little more tired than he usually does yeah. but there's nothing where that he, seems like there's a story within that right there where that could possibly be sad you know but uh but no it doesn't it, he it, just says yeah. he just says. Oh, you know, I feel all right. Let's go home, everybody. I'm all right. Yeah, you know, I'm a cartoon. And I'm okay. I, I got it. my Ben Gay. We got to make it fourth one. Hey, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. I'm not checking out of this one just yet. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't ever pass up any opportunity to give us jokes like Big Smelly Crack or a visual gag of Sid grabbing uh, an ox's penis. It feels like the filmmakers themselves are getting tired of this series, and they're stretching out a 30-minute straight-to-DVD story to an hour and a half. So I, I-, I give this a rental. If I was an artist, I'd be like, you wasted my time for this. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd turn my table over, my animation <laughs> table. <to> yeah. Beba! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean. Cause Looney yeah. Tunes, what happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> Even if I was working at the studio, I'd be like, yeah. you know what? I want some real animation on my yeah. plate. Wait a minute. No, the animation's cool. I've been like, y'all spend money on, on, on what? <laughs> we could have we made the animation just a little bit crappier. Uh-huh. And then we could have released it straight to DVD, yeah. made some money off a bunch of kids who don't care. Right, right. I mean, if, if they're going to like not really care about the story, then I'm not going to care either. You uh, know, maybe I'd care if they uh, had a little uh, acorn uh, squirrel action going on. Shoot that in 3D. <laughs> well, I'm there. <laughs> well, you know what? That They, got, they do uh, have this, these scenes over and over again mm. where uh, Scrat, who was that rat, he meets mm. a, female, uh, kind of, a, a female version of yeah. himself. And they those two fight over that acorn and mm-hmm. all these scenes mm-hmm. over and over again, you know. Uh-huh. And and, I, and at first it's kind of funny, but it's like, all right, you know, even that's getting old, right? With this whole thing, and it's, <laughs> I, I know you threw a female in there to kind of like bump it up a little bit, but mm-hmm. it, it's like whatever. I mean, <laughs> okay, you know, take the female out. You know what? The, you know what needs to happen? What needs to happen? They need to make that little crackhead rat an actual crackhead and, and set it in modern times, and he's being chased by some crack dealer that he ripped off. <laughs> you, know, you know, Ice Age 4, the crackdown. I'd smoke it. Ice Age, dawn of the dinosaurs. Maybe you're hungry. I know just the thing. Sid, whatever you're doing, it's a bad idea. <laughs>